Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Timberboard, part eight in our Iron Teeth series. And uh, my voice kind of gave out there as I said the word series. That was fun. Um, I don't know why. That's weird. I I've been fine all day today, and suddenly I got to record a video and my voice doesn't work. Anyway, so last time we started the new district, and, and they're fine. They're, they're, they're doing great. I guess I could do this. Uh, they've got food. They've got water. Uh, and, and they're just going to chill over here. They're, they're just going to... They're, they're going to eat. They're going to drink and sleep and go to their campfire. And, and they're going to be just happy. It, well, they're going to be 12 happy. Because today we're coming back over here. And we're going to do a big project. One that... Um, was inspired by, um, indirectly by City Planner Plays. It was during his chat, or in his chat during a recent live stream. Um, well, I say recent live stream. It took place on March 7th, and it's now April, the second week of April for you. But it's okay. It's all right. Um, and, and the whole thing came about um, because somebody in chat suggested building a rooftop pool and it turned out it wasn't going to work because you know it, you can't place a pool up there but I, I found a way I, I have found a way um, I've prototyped it to make it work though we are going to need uh, our excavator and for some reason, there we go, R wasn't working, but now it is, so we're good. And then I need to get power over here, and I've kind of limited my options for doing so. Uh, I don't know if I'm smart was it? Um, I do kind of want this here. Eventually, I am going to blast out this channel to bring this water back through, so it kind of backfills into here, and then we'll have like a little reservoir back here, bringing a bit more, um, to land back this direction should we need it i don't know that we're going to though this area is really going to be more about producing things uh, oh you know what we don't have we don't have treated planks okay so let's get some treated planks underway as well how many unemployed beavers do we have i guess is going to be the important question um i think we'll be fine Does this requires four i don't know um it can hold up to four. Oh yeah, we might be kind of on 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 the edge here. But what we can always do is deprioritize some other jobs. Like right now, we've got builders deprioritized. Maybe not the best idea, but uh, it's what we have at the moment. But we need to get in a couple different things to make this work. Um, so let's let's see what we want to do to make all this work. One of the things I think I'd like to do is blast out a little bit here so we have a little bit more room for pine as my phone makes a noise uh, halfway across the room on the charger. Sorry. Um, but if we blast this flat right here, I think we can maybe get just a bit more uh, usable area for forestry. So I am going to attempt to make that a thing here. Uh, for now, we're gonna do just a temporary set of stairs. There's my phone again. Huh, I wonder if somebody's trying to get hold of me. I should probably check that. Usually people don't text me very often. I'm gonna check that real quick while the beavers place uh, all the dynamite. And they finished. Um, and don't worry, text message was nothing urgent. Uh, just one of the parental units. <laughs> About something that I'm sure felt urgent at the time, but uh, truly was not. Uh, so we're going to just complete this. And that did give us just a bit more space here. And that's kind of what I was going for was just a bit more. So we can have a few more pine trees. Uh, so we want to continue our grid of 10. And I believe this is 10 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 it is. Cool. Awesome. So since this is kind of a, a dry area over here, we're going to use that. We're going to unmark this section just to kind of give us a leg up on what we're doing here. Uh, and then I want to see how far the tapper shack can reach. Uh, almost all of that. So that's that's good. I'm going to bring him over 
two because I want to put a forester in right here as well. So then just a few more pine trees right here. And then we need a place for the tapper to put the pine resin. And we're going to do two of these. We're going to put one right here. I thought that's where pine resin went. Oh no, pine resin is in a warehouse. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna do a medium warehouse here of pine resin, uh, which is right there. It's maple sap that is the other. And then we're gonna come over to here and get um, some of our uh, woodwork shops in. And I think we'll just go back here uh, since we've got power right there. Actually, we're gonna go here with them. I'm going to build three. I know we don't have a whole lot of beavers at the moment, but I think we'll be all right. And then I'm going to store some more uh, resin here. And what we'll do is we'll set this one to obtain and this one to supply. And that should, in theory, uh, help us out quite a bit. And then we need a place to store the uh, treated planks as they get created. So those will go right there. And then we just need to extend our power uh, straight on down. So we need to bring these over to here like that. And then we need a high power shaft going that direction. And then everywhere there's an intersection, I always do a four way just so I have options later on down the road. Um, and then we will get that connected with the T-junction. It is really dark. And then we will connect that up. And cool. So they're doing, like, they're they're moving over here, like, quick, 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 which is freaking awesome. Um, and then the nice thing is we'll have two different foresters that can kind of work on planting the pine trees. And since we're not cutting all of these, we've already got a few trees that are going to be producing pine for us pretty doggone quick. Um, so that's good. And then that means we'll be able to get this done because this is actually, I don't have to use dirt blocks. I could use levees, but I want to use dirt blocks or train blocks to make this happen. So we need to come over here and wait for all of this to get finished. So let's just kind of park up right here. We can see the whole shebang from right there pretty much. We won't be able to see the warehouse, but it will. We'll deal with it. And uh, let's get this built. We're going to basically relocate all of our housing um, back to here because we don't need uh, the housing over here we have 28 spots so after we build this we'll probably demolish a lot of this and make this recreational space what we want to do is create a, a little barrier here basically um and this is where i i've, I've kind of tested this already to see exactly how this uh needs to go together and it's essentially something like this so this leaves a section or should leave a section five wide so one two three four five perfect absolutely perfect um and before we do the back side of it that's where we really need uh the dirt blocks to begin and then i want to bring those up uh just one shy of the roof here actually we can go to there but not right here and the reason we can't go right there well you'll we'll see so we're gonna do that to get that done um of course they're gonna have to have some way to get up to all of this um i think what we'll do is just like some temporary stairs um to to get it all done and I, I just wanted to get the houses there so that I could kind of see where they're going to go. I'm going to pause their production for the time being because I want to get um, the uh, train blocks in first before I do anything else. And then that needs to come back. And this is where I got to consult my screenshots again. Bear with me. Looks like it needs to come back six. Um, if I'm looking at this right, but so... Or six total, let me see here. Oh, it's seven total. So we need to add uh, six more here. 
and six more here, and we'll test fit this here once I get this in. And then we want to do these as well. Probably not the best way to have laid these blocks, but I did it, so we're going to live with it. And then these are going to go right here, whoops, here. And then this is going to be essentially where our rooftop pool goes in. Yeah, I've gone, I've gone one too many. Okay. So I guess it wasn't. Oh yeah, part of this is actually on the roof. Okay. All right, because I want this to be one farther back. So not a big deal. That's why we're paused right now so that nothing gets built. Not that they could build the blocks right now, but you know. So yeah, that will go there. And you're going to quickly see how this is going to work. You're like, well, there's no water there, Brandon. I know. But what we're going to do is then come in here with our fluid dumps and have these on either side. So that's the basic design to get this all working. I guess I didn't have to delete this path. Um, now we've just got to get them, you know, get that constructed, which means we've got to get some uh, tree planks going, which have we, we haven't even started making any because we don't have any pine resin yet. Uh, don't stop building the house. Stop building the house. We don't want the house just yet. Thank you, eager beavers, but uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I also want to pause all the stuff that's sitting on top here because, um, well, there's no way to get to it at the moment. So I just need to get uh, some sort of temporary scaffolding in here. I may as well go ahead and finish the layout of the homes that are going to surround this. Oh, I did need to delete that path. Okay. You know, while they're waiting to get, or while we're waiting to get those built, let's uh, go ahead, since we do have some available housing over here. Um, also, I just wanna check on these dudes. They're still two babies, three gun, not working. Good, good, good. Uh, just don't want a bunch of homeless ones over there. Plus I don't want them to go as extinct. So we're gonna keep our eye on them, but I think they'll be fine. We are gonna go ahead and um, get rid of just a little bit of stuff here. Uh, simply because we're going to need this space to to get up. Uh, you know, we don't currently have a way to get up to the top. And what I'm thinking I would like to do is something, I don't know, kind of convoluted. Just something interesting to look at. So something along those lines to get us started going up. And then go here and here with some stairs like that and then we need this to be there so they can get to this level and that level and then this needs to wrap around um all the way around except for back here we're going to kind of repeat what we did up front so they, they can get this going and this is going to maybe help us get up there but not really we'll have to do a couple of the houses um, which is fine. So we'll do that and we'll put that in and that in so they can get there and there and that. Cool, cool, cool. And then now I just want to repeat over on this other side what we did back here. So that's going to go there, right? And then another one right there. Cool. Now the next phase of this is getting them up to the next level. And I think I want to come out the sides here and do that. Um, why? You know, because I can. Uh, so we're going to go one more off of each one of these. Like that. Actually, we need to do two more because we're going to have to do the stairs up. And then here we just need one of these on each one. Yep, yep. And then we can do... Uh, just this one? Oh, it needs to go up one more. Okay. So there and there. And there and there. And then a single one on top. Yes. This is looking good. And then we do this one. Just kind of surrounding the joint. Um, all the way around. Maybe not completely around. Oh, well, no, we're going to have to go completely around, aren't we? Maybe. Hold on. Let me let me look at this. No, we're not going to have to go completely around. Um, though it will change my design I had earlier a little bit, but 
I'm actually doing the stairs and all that a little different than my little prototype. We'll see if it continues to work or not. So that there and then path there, path there, all the way around to there. And honestly, I don't know that we needed to even go all that way out. We'll see in a minute. But let's get paths connected. There we go. Missed one. And then there and there. And over here and right there and up there and up there. And then we need more stairs. They're already pointing that way, so we'll put them in there. Cool. That will get us all the way to the top. Uh, what it won't get us is into there. But that's okay, because we're we're so we're, we're working on it. So I know right now it just looks like a confusing mess, but trust me, this is gonna be really freaking cool. And it's gonna bring some water up here, um, which is always a good thing. So are we getting any pine resin yet? Not yet. How far are we away from that? You were at 64%, 77, 88, 89. So yeah, we're, we're close to getting pine resin, but not quite. And it's not going to really be a lot when we get it because it's only a few trees. Each one only gives us two. And each of these, I guess we do have some pine resin from somewhere. Okay, cool. Uh, so this must be under construction then. Not yet? Nope. It must be our very first one. And these take three hours. Um, so that's all right. Oh, here comes the first one. Look at that. Who is this hero? Uh, yeah, your name. Rule Bukez. I can actually pronounce one of the beavers' names. That's rare. If I had enough Patreon supporters and YouTube members, I don't have any YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers and all that good stuff, I would, I would name... Uh, beavers after that but right now there's only like 22 total people in those lists between all three so that doesn't quite work all right cool so let's get uh the scaffolding built and also kind of keep an eye out over that direction and see what happens And the bad tide has started, and I just wanted to point out, now that we have a bad tide, that this is all working. Those, you saw them in action. Bad water being routed off that way, and then up here, this switched over, and the bad water going out that way. So it looks like they've gotten all of this scaffolding done. I do want to come in here um, and maybe pause part of this. I think if I go ahead and let them build the houses, then we can start tearing these houses down. Um, and that way we've got things to work on. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and let them build the houses as well. Uh, and then we can see how many we need to keep of the old ones, because this is really hard to reach because of all the stuff surrounding it. It's okay, we'll get it. There we go. That's That's got all of that unpaused for the housing, so they should start working on those. Um, and that'll let them walk on top of the houses to place the um, soil or train blocks once we get there. I do need to leave this paused, though, uh, so that they can get back here and build that one. Um, I was originally going to just, like I said, put blocks on top of housing, but you, you know, you can see, or levees, you can't, they have to be built on the ground only. Um, it doesn't say ground only in here, but it, it's ground only, which is sad. So awesome. Cool. Uh, let's go over here. Check on these dudes. Uh, Ooh, we have homeless beavers. That's problematic. Um, I didn't think they would grow fast enough to present this as an issue. So let's get them one more house in here. And I, I think we're just going to stick with these big ones because that holds 16. So they'll, they'll work on their little house. They're still fine with food and water there. They are just chilling over here with down to a well-being of eight because, uh, well, they don't have a whole lot to do. They can go to a campfire and eat. And that's it. 
And of course, it's it, this will pop back up a little bit once they get that house built. Uh, so speaking of houses, they are they're moving. So we've already got four in, so we can get rid of four of these. There we go, and that won't impact our numbers because it's just offset exactly the way it needs to be. In fact, we could probably go ahead and get rid of a couple more. Uh, since we have 14 empty beds, we can get rid of one more. There we go. <laughs> the dude was like, I'm standing here. Yeah, I know. Sorry, little beaver. Uh, but we always have to come back to this district to check the homeless number, or the, the housing numbers. Otherwise, it shows us the entire all two districts. All two. All two districts. That's the words I just spewed out of my face hole. So yeah, they'll get that built because they've got lugs. Yeah? Yeah, they got plenty of lugs. Awesome. So these dudes can come back over here and continue like speed running the housing project. Uh, they've got two more done, so we can do that. Did you do more? Oh my gosh, they just keep going. I just don't want to get a bunch of empty houses here. So we don't need this anymore. And we don't need this anymore. And then uh, they're up to 16, so we can get rid of one more house. I kind of like uh, relocating things, though we've got all this mess. Um, this is all logs and planks. Uh, we are going through a lot of logs right now, though, so they should be able to clean that up, uh, hopefully. So, yeah, we're getting treated planks, so this is getting there. We're 18% of the way on uh, that because that's easy math. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. That's easy math. 36. We can get rid of three more houses. I love that it goes homeless and then not homeless as they like relocate to their new quarters. Oh, did I not unpause one? Okay. There we go. Now it's unpaused. Cool thing is, they'll go ahead and be able to uh, get this the monuments built as well. Uh, as well as some of the... Well, we can't do the decoration yet around the edges because if I do, then they won't be able to get to where the uh, train blocks need to go. But other than that, we'll be able to get a lot of stuff completed here. I was kind of hoping that this would all get done around the same time, but our lack of pine resin... I mean, we have two... That's enough to make two treated planks. So, yeah, not ideal, uh, but it, it, it's okay. It'll it'll get done eventually. So I'm just running in a path to connect where our storage is and uh, the housing that we've built. You can see all the existing housing is now gone because they've got most of that finished uh, and we're back up to 21 we're gonna have like 40 something available beds by the time this is all done i think um i'm fine with that it'll be okay uh they do have a huge mess to clean up but again they're they're using a lot of this stuff so i don't know about the planks that are down here that stuff isn't gonna be able to get picked up but all these logs will be able to get picked up because we've got room for 2,000 logs and we're down to 900 and something because this this was a big project. And for this, metal blocks and planks are gonna get uh, chewed through pretty quick. So they'll even be able to clean up the planks. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. Um, one thing I'd like to do while we're down here um, is add in some more water storage. Um, just because, you know, why not? I'm going to put one here and one here for the ground level. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to reverse that. We're going to put the ground level ones here. And I think you'll see exactly why I'm doing this here in just a second. Um, and then we're going to build platforms. Uh, once I remember where platforms live, uh, they are here. I wonder if I should do like the big... This is huge. Uh, that one's like the right elevation. Oh, it even fits over that water tank. That's cool. I like it. Um, 200 metal blocks. Wow, and we're going to be going through a lot of metal blocks soon, right? 50 there and 50 there. 
you know what, I kind of want to do it just because it looks cool. Yeah, we're doing it. It's totally wasted space, but we're doing it. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you do things because it looks cool. Um, and then since that's going to have like an edge that isn't being utilized, what we're going to do is a couple things. I'm going gonna, gonna to come in here and we're going to put in uh, some of clangy bells. I'm just going to decorate this. I don't think the clangy bell actually gives them any aesthetic score, but it's okay. And then I don't want to make it so they can't get to that corner, so we'll hold off on that there. There we go. Cool. That will let them get that built. And then we can put the water tank in. I think it'd be good to have water tanks up top up here for the two water dumps so they don't have to go very far to get their water. So, yeah, we're coming along nicely even on our monuments. That should help our well-being quite a bit. I am going to prioritize this mess down here, though, because it's kind of bugging me. And once we get our bigger water tanks in, we'll get rid of these little ones that are here uh, because there's really no need for them anymore. And I also want to see, can these fit? Whoops, wrong thing. Really, these can't fit under... I think I already knew that, but I'm gonna we're gonna switch to uh, breeding some adult beavers, and we can get a couple in in front of that the metal uh, the metal platform there. This place looks cool. I think I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, maybe we've gone a little overboard with some of the stuff, but uh, it's okay. So our monuments coming along nicely. So they should get some more cleaning done and get a few more things built. So this is where we're going to just once again, park up like right about here and watch things get built until I think of the next thing that we can be working on while uh, this all gets constructed. So our dirt excavator is up and running. We are producing dirt. You can see we've already got quite a bit of it, which means we should soon, hopefully, get uh, some some dirt blocks. They None of them are saying... Uh, I can't click on any of them. There, got one. None of them are saying that they're too far uh, from... The district because they can just walk up here and drop them down they can drop stuff down quite a quite a distance so they'll be able to build all of those dirt blocks uh no problem oh my gosh they're already making progress on this dirt super fast progress so in morning or in the morning they should because dirt's just six each yeah they don't have that far to go so this should get finished out pretty quick. Uh, and then the pool can get built and then they can start filling it. And with all the walls done, I can unpause this. I did get rid of the second water dump or fluid dump and replaced it with a double shower because I thought, you know, that would be a great amenity to have up there. It will mess with the symmetry just a bit but I think it's okay. Um, it almost looks like that's like the pool filtration system and all of that that you would have for a pool, and I kind of dig it. Um, so this should fill up pretty quick, and the nice thing about a fluid dump is they won't continue putting water in. Like, So the level that it sits on is the level they will fill to, and then they stop. And then when it needs more water, they'll resume pumping that water and eventually they'll have this medium tank up here so they can just walk right over there and make use of that so this should fill up super quick and should hopefully even get us some irrigation in through here uh, I think as it gets deeper we'll see it and it's finished this is all because I wanted to build a rooftop pool, but I just went a little overboard. Uh, it's well decorated. We have monuments. Uh, we have water. We have bells that signal the beginning and end of the workday. We have an exercise plaza. We have clocks. We have the advanced breeding pods. 
we even have decorative trees that will grow over time. Uh, and then around back, we have food storage and a couple of campfires. This looks incredible. I really love the pool and how it's like, it's the thing that I wanted to do and it's totally obscured, but it almost looks like an infinity edge pool because it just kind of vanishes up into the structures next to it. And how freaking cool does that just look? I, I mean, I am, I am super pleased. This, this is by far the most ambitious well-being and decorative project I've ever taken on in Timberborn. I think we may wind up redeveloping almost this entire district now that I'm looking at it because I, I like that we have this beautiful thing here. Why why wouldn't we make this look better? We may even like move the district over the district center uh, just to center it with our housing here. I don't know. Man, this just looks absolutely incredible i think um i would love to know your comments down below by the way we didn't highlight it but there are three uh rooftop terraces lots of decoration here they, like i said they have a rooftop double shower that looks like it has been getting some visitors um lots of scratching posts up here that they can go chill and hang out on look at that the showers are getting used um, and of course the main attraction, the pool, we, we didn't just do boring stairs. We tried to make them look interesting. Look at the well-being 29 in this district, which is just astounding mainly because they're getting to that exercise plaza slowly, but surely, um, we'll have other pools and things like that in other locations. But for now, this one, Ooh, this one, uh, will will do really well for us so yeah pretty pretty good stuff i need to get this like in a view that it's going to give us a good screenshot there's like not really anywhere to do it is there no there's not so let's go with something like that right there and make the most of it so i guess we should recap real quick what we did we had to start of course with the dirt excavator i did go ahead and have um some more scavengers over here they're really far away but we we have to have the scrap to continue with metal blocks this thing is already dug a deep 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 hole uh so we may like reposition it a few times just to get like a big huge I don't know, opening all the way over there. We may not blast this. We may just rebuild that over and over again. It's probably something I'll do between videos. But we also got uh, our treated planks into production, added the area over here where they can get the, the resin. And then of course, just this massive, beautiful housing complex that I think is phenomenal. I am so, so pleased with this. And I'd love to know what you think about it as well. So leave a comment down below. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.